Everybody. All right, your next comedian goes by the name of Michael White, everybody. Your last bucket pull of the night. Michael White. Oh, shit. Oh, we know this guy. Holy shit. Make some noise for Michael White, everybody. I was raised by a black mama half my life. Shout out to Mama Ira. I know this is my second time on the show, but I'm still a little nervous because I... I'm not used to being in front of this many white people. I'm Baptist. No, because I'm usually in a place where there's just black people, Mexicans, and then me. And I don't know if y'all know this, but wiggers don't like other wiggers. We hate each other. We want to be the only one. One time I was at Club Hypnotic chilling with my black homeboys, and I see the white dude walk in. I started barking. Hey. He was barking back. Hey. We were barking at each other. Hey. Kind of like when house slaves get jealous of other house slaves. Like, who the fuck let you in? Racism is a distraction. Technically, we are all black. They just point out our different pigments to make us forget that the first human is from Africa, and we all came from the same human. So that means there's only one race, the human race. Some of us just came out with a disability. Why do you think society provides us with so many privileges? Because you have to be nice to handicapped people. Madness getting wild. Hi, How about a hand for Michael White, everybody? A true Put performance, if you will. A little one man show there. Uh, Louis J. Gomez. He gave like a, a wigger Braveheart speech in the <laughs> middle of that. That was, I don't know what the fuck that was, but I got inspired. I was like, yo, we are all, we are all wiggers. <laughs> dude, yeah, dude. It was unbelievable. I was, yeah, go ahead, Josh. I was just confused because I don't see race. <laughs> I just see everyone as white. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? It's very positive. Yeah, it's beautiful. Glass is half full, Jeff. <laughs> Holy shit. Michael White, uh, you've been on this show once before. Uh, an instant uh, legend. I remember you make spaghetti and yeah. you sell spaghetti. Yeah. You are known for this. So you still first do of all, y'all yep. notice all three of them look like the dudes from the Rice Krispie box? <laughs> okay, look. <laughs> No one wants your snaps, your crackle, or your pops here tonight, you son of a yes. bitch. <laughs> you stop it. I didn't realize the Keebler elves had a power forward, but this is... Yeah, yeah. Oh, man, you look like Minnie Mouse's slave owner. I actually am Minnie Mouse's slave owner, so... You... Wait, do you make your mom spaghetti? No, my... <laughs> no, first of all... I was selling spaghetti before Eminem did that, sh opened up that restaurant. It was 2020 when I started. His was like the end of the 21. My ex-girlfriend from Italy taught me how to make it. It's a different story. Oh, tell us about it. I already told y'all last episode, man. Go watch it. The Kurt Fox one. <laughs> okay, but how's it been going? How's the spaghetti business been going? Man, my, that last episode blew me the fuck up. Yeah. Everybody blowing up my DMs like, where the spaghetti? People from Canada, where the spaghetti? I'm like, stop it. Are you, have you been selling it? You know, actually, I've been having so much support from fans, like, sending me money through cash and shit. I are you asking for it? I haven't had to are sell you, spaghetti When they yet. hit you up, are you asking for money? Do you think? Okay, I ask. <laughs> <laughs> You're, no, you're, you're but, digitally panhandling? But, <laughs> Do you think that I could get an eighth of spaghetti? But my spaghetti... <laughs> <laughs> but my, my spaghetti is always like my foul back, like when I need to... Like when nobody can help me, I right, bet I'll go to the kitchen. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I'm, I can be my own boss before... Because I've been a hustler all my life. Before that, I was selling CDs since I was 15. Like, you you know what I'm seem like it. And Absolutely. Whenever, and whenever, when did you uh, stop selling CDs? <laughs> And whenever, like, you know, CDs became a thing where you couldn't really sell no more, people were like, oh, I, don't, I, I want to scan your code. I'm like, what the fuck does that mean? You know, shit like that. So I went, that's when I went to the kitchen. You know what I'm saying? This guy comes hot Cheetos. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about your living situation. What uh, is man, that? Oh, it's cool, man. I'm, I'm broke in the suburbs. Yeah, what does that mean? You have a house, an apartment, I have, roommates? I have an, I have an apartment. I, I, I got the smallest one. You live by yourself? For $800, $840. Oh, shit. How long you been there? And it's in the suburbs. Mm -hmm. Corpus Christi, you can, you can live in the suburbs for $800. Yeah. 
You're in Corpus <laughs> Christi? Yeah, That's yeah. That's what, like a four-hour drive or something? Man, three and a half. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. You drive a little bit faster I come than every every week over here. It's my 19th time and my second time on a show. I love that. I've been in one car crash <laughs> coming okay. over here. Okay, tell us about that. <laughs> On the way here? Man, it was actually a blessing in disguise because I got some money from that shit. And, uh, you did? <laughs> yeah, this guy is black. <laughs> <laughs> the one thing I noticed about visiting Austin, Texas, man, is I'm grateful that I'm the only white person in Corpus Christi. Man, I had this... Man, I, be having, I had this white bitch walk up to me. Well, let me call her a street Karen. She's talking about, I'm, I grew up, I'm from the streets and I grew up with black people, but I don't sound like you. <laughs> like, okay, bitch, well, we can't all be winners. <laughs> you are, you're the real deal over here, I gotta <laughs> tell you. Uh, tell us more. What's been going on in your life recently? I feel like you're a never-ending fucking <laughs> vessel of uh, entertainment. Yeah, what have you done since you gave AIDS to Jenny and kids? <laughs> Man, really? Well, he's been I've camping been outside of Shoe Palace. I've been, li I've been living and breathing this comedy shit, man. Right. How, how, how many spots a week have you been doing? I've been, uh, well, there's this spot on Thursday in Corpus that's like, that's popping the most. And I go there sometimes and I just, I just been uploading my shit. I don't, I don't like, I don't like driving out of town unless it's for some real shit like this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. That makes sense. And when you have some, what are you, a rapper or something? What's your special skill again? Yeah, I was, uh, I've been a performer since I was 13. I used to battle rap every Friday from 13 years old to like, I was You want to rap something here tonight? Yeah, yeah. Let's oh, okay. It. Let's get out of it. Whatever you, rap. whatever you did last time, do something different. Yeah, how about, how about we do the second verse of that song? Okay. Cause, well, cause, hey, because that song blowing up. Everybody's hitting right. me up. Okay. Releasing this Red special Red. release of the second verse of Michael right, so, White. Yeah, remember it doing goes, some boom, Corpus Christi. Boom, 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 boom. This is perfect. I love rap. Boom, boom, boom. boom. Oh, yeah. Boom, 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 boom. boom. Y'all remember? All right, so I'm gonna do the second verse on this song since I did the first one last episode. All right, hey, ADAD is all I need. Check me out. I don't smoke a drink, but I don't be knocking people that do. I'm just saying, we, my ADAD is all I need. Look at me, my ADAD, my ADAD is all I need. I don't smoke a drink, but I don't be knocking people that do. I'm just saying, we, my ADAD is all I need. Look at me, my ADAD, my ADAD is. Middle finger to the riddling pill And F Dr. Ashman for oh, mama I should be on it still after telling them I really don't like the way this pill make me feel It ruin my appetite that makes my life feel boring as hell I'm too young to be depressed This ain't natural, let it be ourselves And if we get out of line, there's a thing called the belt I got spanking like a mother, but they said they didn't help So they felt they had a lock of my childhood mentally in a prison cell But they done messed up, now I'm out of my cage and free to be myself I was in special ed and resource class, I'm sure they tell I thought school was a waste of time and all I wanted to do was rhyme So I sit next to the smart kids, copy off their paper They go back to my notebook, stuff my face in it they think of a dope line I don't smoke a drink But don't get me wrong I did it a few times I just enjoy being sober Must have been drunk up all my life It feel good just to be able To express myself That's how I stay high I don't smoke a drink But I don't mean I can people that do I'm just saying We My ADAD is all I need Look at me My ADAD My ADAD is all I need Oh that really was Yeah That was the second verse Yeah Yeah that was just one verse? Yeah, that was the, that was the second verse. <laughs> oh my goodness! Wow. Is there a third verse? Uh, no, nah, it's just two songs. Okay, two all right, just <laughs> checking, just checking. So Dean, now, was that good? Cool. Yeah, I, man. I, I I fucks with him because he don't see color. There you go. Congratulations. That is the 500th time that joke has been done. Uh, he probably still he probably still doesn't know I'm white. I love it. Now, what did you say <laughs> during that verse? Can we kind of slow it down a little bit? Oh, you are, okay, you want to hear it? All right, all right. I want to hear what you were saying. Go ahead. Something about ADHD. I no, said, not the chorus. Let's skip the I chorus. Said, we're going to do it to the beat or acapella? All right, like Let's that. Let's go yeah. nice and slow. We're going to tickle it. Ah! Oh, wow. Middle finger to the riddling pill And fuck Dr. Ashman for telling my mama I should be on it still after telling them I really don't like the way this pill makes me feel It ruins my appetite and it makes my life feel boring as hell I'm too young to be depressed This ain't natural, let us be ourselves And if we get out of line 
there's a thing called the belt. And I got spankings like a mother, but they said that didn't help. So they felt they had to lock up my childhood mentally in a prison cell. But they didn't messed up, cause now I'm out of my cage and free to be myself. I was in special ed and resource class, I'm sure you can tell. I thought school was a waste of time, and all I wanted to do was rhyme. So I was sitting next to the smart kids, copy off their paper, then go back to my notebook. Stuff my face in it, then think of a dope line. I don't smoke a drink, but don't get me wrong, I've done it a few times. I just enjoy being sober more after being drugged up all my life. It feel good just to be able to express myself. That's how I stay high. I don't smoke a drink. Wow, I like it like that. Isn't that wild? It's so much more amazing when you can understand it. It's better. It's yeah. better slow. It, it makes you go seem slower. Like 50,000 times smarter. Tony, I heard you got digged down by a mandingo while you were asleep and you oh still didn't wake up. Wait a second. I just complimented him and the guy just fucking. What the fuck was that? I'm just saying. This is how. This is like saying, Game of Thrones I'm for you, saying, everybody. Here I am trying to make a fucking head. star over here. I'm like, okay, I'm one more saying. time, a little bit slower. I'm just guy saying. gets half a standing ovation. He's like, you got raped by a giant black man. What the fuck <laughs> is going on? I'm just saying, yo, Why, asshole, What is this? Yo, this is a cold so business, deep people. And wide. I could fuck you and it wouldn't be gay. Because my dick wouldn't feel it. <laughs> Look at like. What the fuck? No, no, you are doing so good. Oh my God. Oh my God, destruction. This is why you live in an $800 apartment. <laughs> you make terrible decisions. <laughs> you had it all. I was about to announce you as the newest regular on the show. And I'm kidding. Oh I'm my joking. God. I'm kidding. If you were in a movie, it'd be called AIDS Mile. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I am white now. Can I get a golden ticket? No. <laughs> no. You know, I would love to, if you can do 10 minutes of rap on a secret show, if you want to. Oh, but you can't yeah. do comedy. Hell yeah. <laughs> you want to rap some you songs? You want to do it Thursday? <laughs> yeah, I would appreciate that. Oh, shit. There you go. That's a gig. Michael White. Another great performance. I hope y'all know on Reddit, everybody is saying differently. They want... They want, they want, they've been begging for my return because of my comedy, not just yeah. my rap. Okay, yeah, we got gotcha. you. Relax there. <laughs> yep, all right, Danny Brown. There you go. All right. I'm a better comedian than all y'all. Y'all ain't even funny. I'm more of a comedian than a rapper. That's my Danny Brown impression, everybody. Hey, uh, Not good. I remember when I was... Uh, Y'all ain't even funny. Uh, that's, all, are crazy. that's all he ever says. He gets angry, <laughs> drunk <laughs> eventually. And he goes, Y'all ain't even funny. I'm going to tell you this quick story about uh, when, when I was waiting to get uh, my name called outside. When y'all when y'all used to do it in the alley? Remember, what? Remember when we used to wait in the alley to get our wait for our names to get called? Do I remember when y'all used to wait in the alley? Yeah, the comedians. We used to wait right You there. said we. Not you. My bad. <laughs> When you had us. <laughs> yeah. Before y'all put us in a luxurious club and shit. Right. Uh, <laughs> I love that you think it's luxurious. It's uh, poor choices. It's called poor choices on the Sixth The alley street. should have been poor choices. But, uh, <laughs> now, uh, the doily on your head is unraveling at a very fast rate. What happens when it, when it covers your face? Does fucking Molly Margle come back out again? Fucking... No, what so was I, her name? So I remember one time uh, we were waiting out there and David Lucas came Molly out. Molly Matledge. <laughs> yeah, so David Lucas came outside and he was like looking around, checking out the scene. And I was like, yo, David Lucas, let me go on tour with you. And he was looking at me like, boy, you ain't going on a road dress like you stuck in the year 2005. Right. And then broke. he gave you his t-shirt and left. <laughs> <laughs> we almost got into a fight. All right. There he goes. Michael White, everybody. <laughs> we almost got into a fight. But yeah, there he got your hood. All right. <laughs> Yeah, and then I hey, went and made some spaghetti. Tell, tell him I said Earthworm Jim hate too many Okay, Earthworm. all right, there he goes. He's shouting out his cash app, everybody. Jesus fucking Christ. Who uses oh cash God. app? 